everyone. Today I want to talk to you about beauty. Objects in the mirror are as fabulous as they appear. So when you look in the mirror, what do you say about yourself? When you look in the mirror without makeup, what do you say about yourself? When you step outside of the shower and stand in front of the mirror, what do you say about yourself? When you look in the mirror and you're wearing sweatpants or you're dressed down, what do you say about yourself? Being beautiful is not about having the perfect Barbie body or the, wearing the best makeup. In fact, there's been a study on the Barbie body and it's not even possible to have a body like Barbie does. It's not even in, um, you know, it is completely not realistic at all. So being beautiful is not about having that bar Barbie body, body. It's not about having the best makeup. It's not about wearing the best clothing. Being beautiful is about who you are, your confidence, your uniqueness, your the, the core values that are inside of you that drive your purpose. Uh, beauty is about being re rooted in who you really, really are. Uh, beauty is more than a half inch deep. And we all know people like that, right? We know people who are stuck up, but they're gorgeous on the outside. We know people that are consumed with their appearance and they're that they're gorgeous on the outside. We know people that are uh, so self-absorbed, yet they're still so beautiful on the outside. Beauty is more than a half an inch deep, deep like that. Beauty is how you treat others and how you tr treat yourself on a daily basis. Uh, beauty is about what you really, really value and what you want in life. Beauty is, is so much more. And we need to interrupt the negative messages that we have told ourselves, that we have internalized for so long. It's so important that we interrupt those negative thoughts. Uh, here are some ways that you and I can feel and see, we can see how beautiful we are and feel how beautiful we are without even looking in a mirror. First one is to be mindful. Be mindful, step outside of yourself. Stop and tune in to what is going on around you. What are you feeling? What are you thinking? What are you doing? To step outside of the self-absorption of what this matters and be, a, be mindful of what is going on around you, to be present. The next one is to surround yourself with people who don't care so much about makeup, about hair products, about dress sizes, about the latest fashion, but they care more about the genuine impact that they have on people, their community, their world. And when you surround yourself with people like that, you start to become like they are, and that's beautiful. Uh, next one is to embrace your uniqueness. Make a list of at least three things that make you unique, that make you stand out. Pick out the things that are you can delight in instead of feeling like they're defects. Uh, is it your sense of humor? Is it your quirkiness? Is it your flair that you have? Is it your love of history? Is it your love of reading? Is it that you are like a walking trivia book? What makes you unique? What makes you stand out? Is it that you uh, will help a turtle across the road? What is it that you love about yourself instead of feeling like it's a defect? Um, here's another way to feel beauty, beautiful without looking in the mirror. Um, look so good that you feel so good. 
And here's what I mean by that. Look so good that you feel so good. Consider yourself as a personal canvas. And you can express yourself externally the way that you express yourself externally, like this canvas, impacts the way that you feel about yourself internally. So look so good that you feel so good. So if you consider yourself a canvas, then maybe you're like the an abstract piece of art or art deco or pop art or classical art and consider how you look on the outside it's going to make you feel good on the inside now i love to wear sweatpants uh look at me i'm in a workout shirt right now but it does matter the way you look on the outside looks so good that you feel good so consider yourself canvas and dress accordingly the other thing you can do about feeling beautiful is to smile. Smile. Everybody loves a smile. Believe in something. Here's another suggestion. Believe in something that's so important. What did Mahatma Gandhi say? If you want to change, if you want, be the change that you want to see in the world. So believe in something. Uh, another thing you can do is forget yourself for a minute and start caring about somebody else. Leave that self-absorption and begin caring about somebody else. And that is beautiful. Uh, another way to feel beautiful is to focus on the good stuff. Focus on the good things that you've done, that, how caring you are, how integrous you are, how honest you are. Um, another thing that you can do is honor the values that matter to you. Stand up for what you believe in. That's a beautiful thing. And then maybe the last thing I'll leave you with is to have grace for yourself. Perfection is a myth. There is no perfect person walking on the earth. So I'll end it by saying this, objects in the mirror are as fabulous as they appear. So you've got to have self-love. You've got to know that you are unique and one of a kind and special just the way you are. Let me tell you a little bit about myself to, to tell you where this is coming, and I probably should have said it at the very beginning of the video, but you are looking at a person for years that had a, a, uh, an eating disorder, a, 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 a skewed up image of who she was, and it affected everything that I did in my life, and it actually ate up years of my life that I will never get back. And it was when I started implementing all the things that I talked about today is when my life changed. I started believing in things that I was passionate about and started knowing that it wasn't what I saw in the mirror, but what I felt on the inside. So there you go. It's a little snippet for me. Um, and I'll, I'll tell you more about that another another video, I'm sure. So thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. If you want to uh, see any more content or read any more content that I have put out there, I invite you to head over to my personal website, lynnschrader.com, and you will see a ton of uh, writings that I've done. Um, thank you so much for watching, and I appreciate you.